Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 33 says, in the xy plane, what's the x-intercept of the graph of y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4? So you can think about this graphically. Um, I think the best way to do this is actually algebraically though. Okay, so just to kind of get an idea of what this graph looks like, this is a linear equation. The y-intercept is negative 4. We, can, we know that because this is in the classic y equals mx plus b format. And in this format, the b, whoa, the b value is the y-intercept and the m value is the slope. Okay, so I just want to kind of give you a visual here. Um, the y-intercept is going to be negative 4. That's going to be somewhere down here. The slope is down 2 over 3. So the line is going to look roughly like this. This is just going to be a totally rough sketch. But just to give you an idea of where the x-intercept should be, it should be negative, right? It's going to be somewhere over here. You know, if I had to guess, you know, I don't know, probably like negative 6 or something, maybe negative 8, somewhere over there. Um, but, but that, you know, this is just kind of give you like, you know, if you've got a grid, great, you can graph it. Um, but there's a kind of an easier way, I think, to solve this one out. And that is to know that all of your x-intercepts, regardless of what your graph look like, you know, the, the definition of an x-intercept is going to be the x value where your graph crosses the x-axis. So this x, this horizontal axis is the x-axis. So basically what we're looking for is where does it cross that x-axis? Now, at, no matter what your graph looks like, if it's a line, a parabola, a circle, whatever, the x-intercept, um, all of those x-intercepts are going to have something in common. You know, because the definition is going to be the point on the x, uh, along the x-axis, all these points along the x-axis, they all have something in common, and that is that the y-coordinate is zero. Y will be zero on every point on the x-axis. So every x-intercept has an has a y coordinate that is zero. Okay, all your x intercepts are going to take the form, you know, whatever the x is, comma zero. Okay, so we don't know what this is yet. We're going to find it, but we know that for whatever that x intercept is, the y coordinate is zero. So the way to go about doing this is going to be to substitute in zero for y, and then solve for x. So let's just go through the algebra there. So 0 equals negative 2 thirds x minus 4. We're solving for x here. The first step to doing that is going to be to add 4 to both sides. And when I do that, I'm going to get 4 equals negative 2 thirds x. So now here you've got a couple options on how you want to isolate that x. If you're using a calculator, and I definitely recommend that, then you can just go ahead and divide both sides by negative two-thirds and not worry too much about, um, you know, getting the, uh, getting the arithmetic right. You can let the, just let the, ca the calculator handle that for you. All right, so yeah, so here I'm going to divide both sides by negative two-thirds. And that's just something I'm going to type in the calculator. I'm not going to do 4 divided by negative 2 thirds uh, in my head. If I'm going to try, if I have to do it mentally, then I would probably take it in two separate steps and multiply both sides by negative 3 and divide by 2. But here, um, you know, I'm going to use my calculator. So I'm just going to say 4 divided by. And then if you have a fraction button, use it. If not, you'll have to use parentheses here. Um, but I've got a fraction button, you know, these uh, scientific calculators do have one. And I'm going to just type in negative 2 over 3. And so I get negative 6. And that's going to be our solution. So we end up getting x equals negative 6. And so what is the x-intercept? It's exactly where we thought it would be. You know, I said, you know, maybe negative 6, negative 8, somewhere around there. And in fact, it is going to be negative 6. So that is our answer for 33. I suppose this would be a grid-in problem, so you'd have to bubble in negative and the 6. Um, but uh, I guess it's on the computer, so you just probably type it in, actually. So anyway, that's going to be number 33. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.